Go nose to nose with your sleeping cat and give her a loving sniff. If it's not sweet kitty breath that you know and love, but a stench that makes you wince, something may not be right. Just as the eyes may be windows into the soul, a kitty's breath may hint to her health. A healthy cat's breath should not be offensive, says Eric Davis, DVM, a fellow of the Academy of Veterinary Dentistry and director of the Dental Referral Service at Cornell University's College of Veterinary Medicine. Periodontal Disease While many things can produce mouth odors, veterinarians agree periodontal disease is the most common cause of bad breath in cats. Periodontal disease is an infection that results from the buildup of soft dental plaque on the surfaces of the teeth around the gums, according to the Veterinary Oral Health Council. The bacteria in dental plaque irritate the gum tissue if plaque is allowed to build up, which can lead to infection in the bone surrounding the teeth. Within just a few days, plaque can mineralize and harden into tartar, which provides a rough surface that makes it easier for more plaque to accumulate. If you ignore periodontal disease, it can lead to tooth loss, bleeding gums, pain, and other problems. To treat it, your cat should have a professional teeth cleaning at your veterinarian's office, says Dr. Jennifer Marzik of City Cat Doctor, a feline veterinary practice based in Chicago. Your pet will receive general anesthesia and, once sedated, the veterinarian will remove plaque and tartar from her teeth and check for any diseased teeth that may need to be extracted, Marzik says. In addition, x-rays may be taken. Consistent oral hygiene can prevent periodontal disease from coming back. Brushing your pet's teeth every day is the best thing you can do, says Marzik, who recommends introducing it in stages, since some cats resist having their teeth brushed. First a cat should get used to you lifting her lip, then touching the teeth, then introducing the brush in the mouth, and finally the act of brushing. Going slow and offering positive reinforcement will increase the chances of success. If tooth brushing is not possible, Wiping your cat's teeth with dry gauze or a washcloth can help remove some plaque, Marzik says. Dental diets or treats can also reduce plaque buildup and freshen breath. She recommends products that have been accepted by the Veterinary Oral Health Council. Lymphocytic Plasmacytic Stomatitis In some cases, putrid breath is caused by a condition called lymphocytic plasmacytic stomatitis, which may be associated with feline leukemia virus, feline immunodeficiency virus, Khaleesi virus, or Bartonella, and other infections, says Dr. Marsha Landefeld of the Feline Veterinary Hospital in Port Washington, New York. A couple of times every year, she sees kitties stricken with lymphocytic plasmacytic stomatitis, a serious inflammation of the mouth that causes odors and extreme pain. The cat's gums look like raw hamburger, Landefeld describes. Cats have sore, swollen, bleeding gums. It hurts when they open their mouths. Treatment can involve cleaning and removing some or all the teeth, she says. In addition to chronic gingivitis and stomatitis, cats with the feline Khaleesi virus may suffer from upper respiratory infections, characterized by discharge from the eyes, runny nose, sneezing, and ulcerations on the tongue, says Dr. Bruce Gordon Kornreich, associate director of the Cornell Feline Health Center. The vaccine will protect cats from getting this disease, he says. The Khaleesi virus is pretty transmissible to other cats and is very common in places with high concentrations of cats like shelters. It's really important that people keep their cats up to date on vaccines. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Oral cancers. Oral cancers can also produce foul mouth odors, Kornreich says. As a tumor grows, it can become infected and cause halitosis. Unfortunately, by the time cats with squamous cell carcinoma, and other types of oral cancer, are diagnosed, the prognosis is not good, says Kornreich, noting cats typically will only live two to six more months. Kidney disease. Sometimes, bad breath signals a health problem that originates outside of the mouth. If your cat's breath smells like ammonia or urine, it could be kidney disease, which is not uncommon in cats ages eight and older, Landefeld says. In addition to having bad breath, cats with kidney disease can appear lethargic, may experience weight loss, drink more water, and urinate more frequently and in greater volume. I've learned not to just look at the teeth, Landefeld says. I check kidney levels. That bad breath odor can mean toxins are building up. Your veterinarian can examine your pet and take a blood test and urinalysis to see if kidney disease is the problem. Kidney disease can be managed with dietary modifications, such as minimizing the phosphorus content of food, making sure your cat is adequately hydrated, and dealing with secondary issues such as anemia or high blood pressure, says Kornreich. The earlier the stage of kidney disease, the better the prognosis, he says. Diabetes 
If your cat's breath has a fruity odor, it could indicate diabetes, especially if the animal is also drinking more water than usual, urinating more frequently, and losing weight despite having a ravenous appetite, Landefeld says. Diabetes in cats can be managed with insulin. Liver disease. In addition to foul-smelling breath, a cat with liver disease may have yellowing of the whites of the eyes or yellowing of the skin on the ears or on gums, Kornreich says. She may also be lethargic, have a poor appetite, vomiting or diarrhea, and drink and urinate more than normal. Treatment depends on the cause of liver disease, he says. Diagnosis of bad breath in cats. To determine the cause of your cat's halitosis, a veterinarian will start by taking a complete health history and performing a physical examination. If the origin is not obvious, e. G. periodontal disease, lymphocytic plasmacytic stomatitis, or an oral tumor, he or she will then search for an underlying medical problem by running blood work, a urinalysis, and any other diagnostic tests that might be necessary. Home Remedies and Professional Tips The goal of treatment is simple enough, establish cat breath that is free from offensive odors. If you are starting with a kitten with a healthy mouth, implementing a plan of good oral hygiene will be fairly simple, provided you are consistent and committed. Brushing your cat's teeth is another effective way to prevent the buildup of tartar. You should use toothpaste made especially for cats, which is available at pet supply stores or your vet's office. You should also purchase a special cat toothbrush to make this task easier for your cat and you. Brushing should be done several times weekly at a minimum, and ideally, daily. This can be a challenge, especially in the learning phase. Stick with it and most cats will learn to tolerate it as part of their daily routine and may even enjoy the attention from you. Preventing Halitosis in Cats Fortunately, there are products available that decrease the accumulation of plaque once the teeth are clean. The Veterinary Oral Health Council only accepts dental products that are safe and proven to reduce the accumulation of plaque and tartar based on scientific studies. Accepted products are listed at VOHC. Org or ask your veterinarian for recommendations. Oral care products containing zinc can inhibit the formation of odor through their natural attraction to sulfur, Zinc and hydrogen sulfide combine to form the insoluble compound zinc sulfide. Zinc also interferes with microbial growth and calcification of microbial deposits that can cause halitosis. After the causes of halitosis have been identified and eliminated, daily plaque control is an essential part of controlling and preventing halitosis from recurring. Wiping the outside of the teeth and gums with a Q-tip twice daily is one of the most effective ways to remove and slow the accumulation of plaque. Dipping the Q-tip in tuna water is recommended to help introduce this cleaning with your cat. Dental examinations at least twice a year are recommended to help treat and prevent halitosis. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.